save her. My daughter. How's it going, guys? Lucian Sword here, playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. As always, it looks like it's about to rain. So let's head on inside the ancient Akala Tech Lab. And we are here because, man, are we rich in ancient monster parts. They're not... Is that what they're called? No, just ancient parts. They're not, they're not monster parts. But yeah, we, we killed, like, so many guardians in the last episode. It was crazy. We just found guardian after guardian after guardian and... I think we have enough to actually do something here, so let's see what we can buy. Maybe we can get something really cool. Alright, so is there anything that I'm actually missing? I have all the armor pieces, so that's cool. We could get the ancient bow. That's basically the best bow in the game. Um, we could get the ancient spear, ancient blade saw, ancient sword, ancient shield. So I could basically get anything I want. And of course, ancient arrows. Mmm, 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 mmm. Well, let's buy five ancient arrows. I never really use them. So, guess why not? Ooh. Dang, these weapons look amazing. They really do. Alright, let me look at the weapons I actually already have before I decide anything. So... Okay, I got three weapon slots, actually. Alright, and then do I have a shield slot? No, I don't. And I have really good shields already, so I'm not going to make the ancient shield right now. I could make the ancient bow, but dang, look at all these good bows I already have. Like 50, 50, 48, you know, light bow, twilight bows, a couple lionel bows. I only have one bad bow, it's a dragon bone. And even that one's not terrible. And honestly... It's going to take me so long to go through these royal bows. I'll just wait on those. So I think for now, since we're not going to get a, a bow, let's get the ancient spear. Just because it's different and it looks cool. You rarely ever see it. And let's get the ancient blade saw. I know everybody wants me to get the blade saw probably. Takes two ancient cores, five ancient shafts, and 15 ancient screws, but I have so many of those. Does 55 damage. Alright, that's about it for now. So, check this out, guys. You're going to be amazed by this ancient blade saw. It actually spins. First of all, let's check out the spear, shall we? Oh, man, look at that. It's actually like three-dimensional spear. Oh, so cool. Imagine getting stabbed by that blue f flame thing. Like, I don't even know what that is. It's like a lightsaber, like blue plasma. Yeah. It even has a different sound effect. You guys hear that? Kind of makes a bass line sound. That's what it looks like on your back, too. Super cool. It opens up. You see that? It literally, like, opens up as you pull it out. Oh, so cool. And here is the ancient blade saw. I'll take my shield off so you guys can see what it looks like better. Look at the sheath. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. And then when you pull it out. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at the spinning effect. That is so cool. Bzzz. <laughs> it's just literally just buzzing. Literally a giant saw for a sword. Let's see what it sounds like when we swing. Pretty much the same sound as a ancient uh, great axe. So yeah, we will save these weapons for special occasions. They do an insane amount of damage. And, uh, it's looking like it's raining outside, which I don't really like. So, let's build a fire. Yeah, 
He doesn't mind having a fire in here, guys. Don't worry about it. We've done this before. He doesn't mind. Apparently, everything in this uh, building is completely flame-proof. So, no worries. Is it still raining? Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. Let's sleep until noon, then. Gotta take a sip of my tea. Hmm. We're gonna do some more exploring in this episode. Okay, there we go. We got some... I'll take partly cloudy. That's fine. I just don't want it to be raining. We are going to explore down over yonder on those islands. Is that torch really not lit? Are you kidding me? Did I not light that one? Uh, we're gonna have to fix that. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to drop something. All right, well... What do I drop? I guess we're gonna have to drop the ancient blade saw for now. All right, let me go get the torch. No, I'm just kidding. We're not dropping the ancient blade saw. <laughs> Let's see. I don't really need the uh, sledgehammer. I just want to light that torch down there. So let's grab the. Uh... How is that one not lit? By the way, like that's some... that's amazing. Yeah, let's go light that one real quick. For sure that one should have been lit. Like, for sure. I remember walking down here and lighting all the torches. Like, how in the world is this one not lit? Alright. Wait, that stays lit? So you could just throw it and then go pick it up again. That's pretty cool. Alright guys, time to test out the ancient blade saw. Let's see how we do here. And he's dead. <laughs> that simple. And there we go. We got some more ancient screws and ancient gears and all that good stuff back. Oh man, it feels good to be in Hyrule. I love this game. So, let's go over here. We're going to adventure to a place, are you kidding me, that I have never been before. After we kill this guy. What should I use to kill him? Like, I have so many options. Kind of want to get rid of my great frost blade, I guess. Oh, never mind, he's dead. There's a wind cleaver. Uh, he just got destroyed, man. Oh, man, do you guys remember the heavy metal high roll music we did on that part where we did that shot? So many good memories in this playthrough, guys, and I really do appreciate you guys sticking with me all the way to the end of this playthrough. It's such a good game. It does make me really happy to play it and it also makes me even more happier knowing that you guys enjoy watching me play it so thank you guys the thing is i don't know how to get to those islands i think we're just gonna have to uh oh we're gonna have to wing it let's go ahead and get this korok real quick watch this oh. i did it that one time but maybe not not ever again feels bad Kind of bothers me but that that rock is like sticking out way further than all the other ones. We are getting as many Korok seeds as possible so that when we do go back to Korok Forest to do the Master Sword Trials, we'll get lots of uh, inventory space. You know what? Might as well be taking uh, Cookie out. Cookie! It's time to go, but first... Let's summon Wolf Link, a.k.a. Zumwar. Even though he's moved on from Trilet Princess, he's still helping us in this game. And uh, definitely check out his Bajora's Mask playthrough. It's really, really cool so far. And let's summon Champion Urbosa, Zamibo. See if we get Divine Beast Vodnabor's Helm. This is the fourth try, guys. Fourth try. Where are you going, Cookie? Get, get back here. Where are you going? Don't run off a cliff again. Fourth try. The other two uh, Divine Beast Helms we got on the fifth try. So I'm really not expecting to get it right here. Eh, as I suspected. 
We will donate this weapon to the next traveler who finds it nearby this shrine. Alright, Cookie. No more running off cliffs. Alright, no more. Let's go back over here. Don't look at the stables. I know you want to go to the stables, Cookie, but you have been resting long enough. Actually, guys, before we do much else, it's time for cooking with Lucian. Why are you barking? There's no enemies. Why are you barking? You're throwing me off, dude. Alright, cooking with Lucian time. Let's see. I have almost no food. I am going to prioritize cooking basic meat and probably some armor or attack uh, food and mostly also uh, food that is hearty. So, with that in mind, let's make some food. We got a big hearty truffle. Let's just cook that with a couple apples and see what we get. Floor recovery plus four, that's fine by me. Let's do three of these with some apples. I just cook everything with apples. I love apples. Okay, those give plus one heart for each, each hearty truffle, I guess. Uh, let's see, iron shrooms. Yeah, let's do five of these. That's, let's just max out the iron shroom. Level three defense for four minutes. Beautiful. Uh, let's also do an attack one. Max out the uh, razor shroom. Oh yeah, these big hardy radishes are great. Let's just do one of those and a couple apples and see what we get. Plus five. That's that's perfect. Full recovery. Plus five. How about one apple this time? Full recovery. Plus five. How about no apples this time? Let me guess. Full recovery. Plus five. Yup. And let's also do some Endura carrots. Just put uh, two of those up. Actually. I feel like that's too many. That's too many. Let's do... Let's do three. Three Endura carrots. I think that might be a full circle. Oh yeah. Beyond! A full circle plus extra stamina. Oh man, Endura carrots are great. Let's just do uh, two. Two of these. Almost a full, full extra circle of stamina. Uh, we don't really need any more stamina recovery things, but... Because I have so much stamina, but... Uh, even so, let's, let's do a few of these. Let's do a few of these. Every now and then they're, they come in handy. Every now and then. Alright, let's, let's cook five of these. Five of these. They give me speed. Hopefully level three speed boost. Oh yeah, nice. And, um... Alright, how about five bananas? Let's just cook a lot of these bananas. They heal me for five hearts and they give me level three attack boost for four minutes. That's pretty dang good. Yeah, I don't really think we need too much more. Let's just cook five hearty radishes. Plus 15 hearts, are you kidding me? All right, maybe, uh, maybe three of these. Plus nine hearts. And uh, all right, we're getting some pretty decent amount of foods here. Maybe a couple more hearty radish. I'll just do... Oops. I just cooked... I just ate a hearty radish because I was in midair. I couldn't grab. Wow, that was such a waste. Cook a couple of those. And last but not least, I'm going to cook a bunch of uh, raw meat. Oops. And to cook these, I don't put them in the pot. I put them next to the pot. Calm down, people. I'm a, I'm Gordon Ramsay. I know what I'm doing. I know how to cook a steak. Look at that. Gourmet steak, anybody? That's what I thought. Y'all need to calm down and trust the chef. I know what I'm doing. Uh, let's see. Where... Ooh, I forgot I got fish, too. Alright, let's do a stamina kebass. Holy cow, that does a lot of stamina. Uh, let's do more raw prime meat. 
Just gotta throw these down. Go throw a couple of these down. Throw the couple of these down. A couple of these. Just chuck them all down. Chuck them all down there. You cook them all at the same time. Oh, they disappeared. What? Oh, we got a lot of them anyways. Uh, let's cook some more. Apparently, you can't cook as many as you want on the ground. That's a shame. Let's do three big birds and two gourmets. Wolf Link, you need to you need to get out of that meat, Bowie. He's like eating the meat in the fire. Yeah, I bet that felt good, didn't it, boy? Wolf Link, here, you come over here. You stay right there, boy. And uh, we're gonna get just a little bit more meat, and then we're gonna be off on our adventure, guys. Can't carry anymore. Wolf Link, quick, come eat him. Come eat him. Uh... Alright, well, I think we're ready to go, guys. We got plenty of food now. Plenty of food. We're off. Hey, there's Beetle. Let's go talk to him. I haven't seen him this far away from uh, Staples in a while. Yo, Beetle, sorry to scare you, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got any, uh, arrows? <laughs> you do! Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I'll take both of the hearty radishes, because those are actually pretty awesome. That's all I needed, bud. Thank you. Thank you. Alright. Cookie, where are you? Oh. Didn't even whistle for you, you came. What a good boy. Alright, guys, let's go! Actually, is there a faster way to get over there? Yeah, maybe from this... Maybe from this shrine right here. Now we're all stocked up. Ready to adventure for, like, another 20 episodes. I only have to cook, like, every 20 or 30 episodes. You guys notice that? I don't even remember the last time I had to cook. Because I hardly take damage. Because we're just pro gamer like that. Master mode? <laughs> More like baby mode. This is so easy. Alright. Here we are. Here we are. Now, how do I go over there? That is the question. Oops, sorry about that. How do I go onto these epic islands over there? Look at the waterfalls on them. Urbosa's fury is ready. Ooh. I hope we get into a big fight. Urbosa's fury is ready. Let's go pick a fight with the enemy camp. We just need to find one first. I'm going to use this great uh, frost sword up. Is there any uh, lionels over here? That would be cool, too. Okay, here's, here's a couple enemies. All right. Easy. My great eagle bow is badly damaged. I don't even want to kill these guys. They're not even golden boys. I don't even want them. Alright. These are the islands. How do we get to the islands? Oh, come on, Cookie. You could have jumped off that little cliff. No, no, no. You're going. You're going. You're going and you're going to like it. You are such a dumb beast, Cookie. You, need, you know that? You need to get a little bit less picky about where you're walking. Okay, this place actually looks super interesting. Stop it. Stop it. There's actually a lot of ore down here. Do you see this, guys? Holy cow. Where am I? This place is very bouldery. 
Have I ever been here before? No, we have never been here. This is Ulria Grotto. See, this is why I kept the sledgehammer. All right, which one of you rocks? Oh, look. Are you kidding me? There's literally a sledgehammer. Why do they want me to do this? Is there like a, a something I have to launch these rocks at? Another sledgehammer. This is just like a mining pit. Another one? Why? What's down here? Nothing. If I had like a target to hit, but I don't see a target. Hmm. No, we missed a rich ore. That's okay. There's a air vent shaft right there. We can get back. Whee. Hey guys. Oh, it's raining. I always forget about the bomb arrow thing when it's raining. Wow, there's a lot of ore around here, though. Give me that electric key swing. They're actually pretty rare. Oh, this is handy. I have no idea what all these are here for. Ho ho! Holy cow, look at that. That went far. Just non-stop rain over here, too, which is kind of boring. I don't like it when it's raining all the time. You guys know that, but... Hey, it is what it is. We're also going the wrong way. I just want to see what's over here, though. A golden boy. Oh, let's go fight him. Let's go fight him. Wolf Link, where are you? Actually, no, I'm not summoning you because you're just going to get me killed, probably. Let's assassinate this guy. You can't assassinate. Oh, there it goes. one of these guys that was golden. They're kind of terrible. A sapphire? Alright. Uh, this boomerang does 55 damage? Oh my goodness. That's, that's literally the same amount of damage as my ancient blade saw. This boomerang does. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, that's, that's really good. All right, let's see if we can climb up this stupid tower. I bet you there's a Korok up here. All right, 
Nope, there's not. Ooh. Oh! Oh! An enemy camp full of golden lizards. That's the kind of camp we were looking for, guys. I'm going to probably die doing this. Let's equip some decent armor here. Um, do I even have decent armor? Dang, I wish my ancient armor was better, but it's not. So, yeah, we're going to have to go full soldier armor, guys. 54 defense. Whew. And, uh, yeah, we're going to take down that enemy camp. We're going to do it. Unfortunately, it's raining because then I can't use bomb arrows. So, but I can use fire and shock arrows. In fact, shock arrows will do extra damage to these guys. I'm going to go around to the other side. Okay, so there's three golden boys and three black ones. Ooh. Korok. Oh, that's a cool leaf. I like your leaf beard, bro. All right, this is a good vantage point. Man, I really wish it wasn't raining. We're probably gonna die here. Do you see their weapons? Their weapons probably have 55 damage too. And there's a lot of them. One golden boy does take a while to kill. So what we're gonna have to do is kill the weak ones first. We're gonna kill the black and red ones first. We're gonna try to freeze the golden ones and uh, then take the golden ones out one at a time. And uh, I imagine we're gonna get something really dang good out of that treasure chest if we can do this. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how to blow up those barrels except with a bomb since it's raining. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. This is the play. We're gonna set down the bomb here, right? We're gonna we're gonna use some octo balloons, right? We're gonna put it on the bomb. No, 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 go that way. No, no, no. Ah! Okay. Okay. Apparently the wind is blowing that way, so let's let's head on over here. Okay. What we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna we're gonna put down this, right? And then we're gonna use an octo balloon to blow up the barrels. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. This is the play, guys. This is. Oh my gosh, where are you going? Where, where are you? Okay, okay. Let's try this one. About right here, guys. Right here. This is the play. No, 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 no. Come back. Come. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Plan B. Plan B is we go in like this. All right, you know what? Wolf Link, I'm going to need you on this. This is a big battle. Wolf Link, come on. I'm gonna need you to dis distract the enemies here. Okay. We prepared our whole lives for this. Hello. And my bow broke. Awesome. Okay, this is where we freeze, right? Freeze. Put down the barrels. Oh my Alright, time to use the big guns. Oh 
Oh my gosh, if that blew up, I would have died. Though I do have fairies, so probably not, actually. I'll beat you with a tree branch. Easy. That actually was a lot easier than I thought. The shock arrows, oh my gosh, they just destroy, dude. Because of the the rain, the shock arrows literally killed all the weak ones like right away. Let's see what we get. Giant ancient core? You kidding me? You kidding me? That's that's what I get for killing three gold lizards and three red. Their weapons that they drop are better. The what? The the weapons that they dropped were better. Well, we tried, guys. We tried. As always, guys. I hope to see you in the next episode. I wanted to explore these islands over here, these mystery islands, and we will on the next episode. At least we explored Ulria Grotto in this episode. It was pretty interesting. We didn't really check out Ukuku Plains yet, but uh, we're going there next time after these islands. Look at this. Oh, look, there's a bridge right there. So that's how we get there. Okay, we're going to go to Dabdi Island. We're going to explore these bridges all the way across to Tingle Island, man. Tingle Island. Hopefully we find Tingle there. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, please drop a like. Be sure to subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. As always, this is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys.